Well, welcome back, Devils fans, and we are here with episode one of the Running with the Devils podcast entitled All-Star Broke. We are at the All-Star break, and this team is definitely broken, hence the name All-Star Broke. And uh, it's been a rough week. It's been a rough week, everybody. As we all know, a lot of things are happening, so let's just get into the current standings for a moment. And the Devils are currently sitting in the fifth wild card spot with 51 points after 47 games played. Six points behind Detroit for the second wild card spot and only five points behind the Philadelphia Flyers for third in the Metro with three games in hand. We've played 47 games. They've played 50. And so with those games in hand, we're going to have to start banking points as bad as this team has played recently we are still in the thick of things i still have hope and i do believe we can make a playoff run especially when jack comes back but at the i did a mid-season report which is after 41 games we, we played six since then we had 47 points after 41 games and now we have 51 points after 47 games if we look we'll just look at the schedule here and see kind of what happened over the last six games but a horrible loss to the Canadians on the 17th, 3-2. to two. Then on the 19th, we went to Columbus and beat a horrible Blue Jackets team, 4-1. to one. And then the next night on the second game of the back-to-back, -back, obviously, the script continues. We got thumped by Dallas at home, 6-2. to two. And then on the 22nd, at home against the Vegas Golden Knights, a thrilling come from behind after blowing a two-goal lead, 6-5 victory over the Vegas Golden Knights, capped by a Tyler Toffoli overtime hat trick. And then losing our last two in big conference matchups. Losing on the 25th, 3-2 to to the Hurricanes. And then losing on Saturday, the 27th, 6-3 to in Tampa. And folks, since the midway point, 41 games played, which was the Boston game, we have gone an abysmal 2-4 and four in our last six games, getting 4 of 12 points. That is nowhere near going to get it done. That is nowhere near going to get us to the playoffs, and that is nowhere near acceptable. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of stuff going on. We'll, we'll get into it later on in this episode. <clears throat> As you all know, a lot of things going around the team. But to go 2-4 and four over the last six when uh, we really need the points and we're still clawing in the standings, very disappointing for fans, and I'm sure the team, the team is very disappointed as well. Nico had a lot of interesting sound bites after the last game against Tampa. He said he was, you know, disgusted and blah, blah, blah. He looked very frazzled in the interview. But he knows it's not acceptable. And hopefully something can happen to spark these guys coming out of the break. We needed the break in the worst way. Two and four, it seemed like we were in free fall mode. I'm glad hopefully now with this time off we could regroup, do some soul searching, and figure out what we're going to do to get this thing going after the break. But... A horrible two and four slide going into the break. And let's just look at on the season. Jesper Bratt leading the scoring with 50 points in 47 games with his 19 goals and 31 assists. Jack Hughes injured, only have, has played 32 games, 15 goals, 30 assists for 45 points. Tyler Toffoli, our leading goal scorer with 21 and has 13 assists to go with that for 34 points. Captain Nico Heischer in 36 games played has 13 goals, 15 assists for 28 points. And young Luke Hughes in all 47 games played has 8 goals, 18 assists for 26 points. Dawson Mercer, 47 games played, 13 goals, 10 assists, 23 points. And our boy Holtzy, Alexander Holtz, 47 games played, 12 goals, 11 assists for 23 points. Eric Halla in 41 games has 10 goals and 13 assists for 23 points. Timo Meyer. Injured on the season as well. 34 games played, 9 goals, 9 assists for 18 points. Palat also had an injury, 37 games played. He has 6 goals, 10 assists for 16 points. Curtis Lazar, 42 games played, 6 goals, 10 assists for 16 points. Dougie out for the season most likely. In his 20 games, he had 5 goals and 11 assists for 16 points. And then it just goes down from there. But Jesper Bratt really getting it done kind of carrying the offensive load in the absence of Jack Hughes and these guys got to these guys got to start getting it done. The game's coming up, the schedule's getting very hard and 
no one's going to be doing us any favors. A lot of teams are clawing. Everyone's looking to solidify their playoff position. And it's going to be an uphill battle for these boys. But hopefully they find a way. Because all we got is hope, right, guys? All we have is hope. And then speaking of Luke Hughes, preseason I predicted he'd be a nominee for the Calder and go to Vegas for the award show. And right now he's kind of right on the cusp there. If we look, Connor Bedard leads all rookies despite breaking his jaw in that game against the Devils a few weeks back. Connor Bedard has 33 points. Brock Faber with 29 points. Marco Rossi with 28. Adam Fantilli with 27 points. And Luke Hughes in the fifth spot at 26 points. All of those guys above him, except for Faber, are all centers. So hopefully, you know, when the season ends, he's kind of in that top few or three or four guys points-wise, and they take into consideration that he is a defenseman. Hopefully that will give him a little bit of a boost, maybe above some of the other guys. Um, I think Bedard's going to win it no matter what, and, you know, it seems like with superstar players, there's always kind of an MO. It always seemed like it was Bedard's trophy to lose, but it would be really cool if Luke got nominated and uh, hopefully he has a big, well, not necessarily second half, but has a big rest of the season, could kind of climb a couple of these guys in points and, um, you know, get the nominee. He had a couple highlight reel plays on the year that have kind of, you know, circulated in hockey communities that I'm sure voters will be remembering when it comes time. That end-to-end -end rush against Columbus to tie the game late in the third was a beautiful play as well as the insane um, overtime winner in Philly. So he's, he's got a lot of those on his resume that could help bolster his uh, credentials, if you will. So hopefully we see young Luke nominated for the Calder. And um, yeah, good luck to Luke on the second half of the season.